souls and welcome or welcome back to the Heartfelt Tarot. Uh, before we start I just want to give you guys a big thank you for the returning subscribers, for the viewers and of course for the new subscribers. Welcome to the family guys. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. But yeah we have this uh, pick a card reading. It's all about the love predictions for the month of April. As you guys know as the flower blossom and spring takes this full swing now we are going to dive in the mysteries of love love and relationship with uh, this uh, reading for you whether you guys are single in a relationship or just navigating the complexities of love um, this uh, reading is going to be designed to offer insights and guidance in your romantic life in this April here so we have for the pile number one this image here with the rose quartz crystal for pile number two we have this image with the jade crystal and for pile number three we have this image right here with the citrine crystal here try to choose your card here intuitively and discover what the universe has in store for you uh, take a moment pause the video if needed and i'll see you in a second hey there my pile number one if you guys been drawn to this um, rose quartz crystal or to the number 25 card here uh, a romance from the whispers of love oracle message um you have here lavish romance, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So I feel like this card, it's just this beautiful heartbringer of the heartfelt connection and deep emotional waters that are waiting to be explored for you guys in the month of April here. Uh, we have this color uh, with these vibrant colors and life that just uh, I feel like it's going it's inviting you in the month of April uh, to maybe lavish the one you cherish with this personal affection and attention or maybe the one you're in this romantic uh, relationship with they're going to lavish you with attention affection is what I'm getting I feel like you guys will have this quality time uh, that it's on the horizon for you um, whether you guys are deeply intertwined with a partner or maybe just in a period of self-discovery, maybe between relationships. But I'm getting that um, the message for you in April here, it's clear. Um, I feel like uh, this person that you are involved with, uh, it's uh, they are realizing it, that it's the time for them to do something special uh, that just... Uh, changes a bit the dynamic of your relationship here if you're um with someone here i feel like this person is thinking of unique ways to show their love to, um, towards you my pile number one they just want to break the routines reintegrate the spark of passion in the relationship here with you i'm uh, getting that this person wants to take you out on uh having these romantic meals maybe or intimate meals um, they might for some of you this person will surprise you with buying you flowers here um, maybe you're the one that is going to surprise the loved one with uh, flowers maybe they're going to surprise you this month with gifts uh, as we have this mermaid here usually it's the harbinger of love uh, or um, bestowing gifts so for some of you definitely i'm seeing that you're receiving some sort of gifts especially if it's uh your um birthday in april if you guys are an aries i'm getting that you will receive um, some presents from uh, your partner here um they will schedule dates for you is what i'm getting as well uh, i feel like they just um uh, I don't know, they want to have these maybe um, romantic showers with you under uh, the candlelight or uh, just uh, you'll find yourself go when you go home, uh, especially if you're living with this person, petals all over the floor uh, that will lead you to the bedroom where you'll find this romantic uh, room filled with candles, uh, rose flowers in the bed here, I don't know, um, I feel like you're going to be spoiled here, my pile number one. For my singles though here, um, I feel like... Um, 
you're going to attract someone that will uh, try to sweep you up your feet here as well i feel like this person will try to win you over with this card here uh we have this mermaid that dances with her partner here they only have eyes for each other so i'm getting overall either that you're single or not someone here has their eyes on you and they don't care about anything or anyone in the month of april just they have eyes for you only and they feel joy they feel happiness here with you uh i feel like the time is stopping for you and this person when you guys are around you just forget about all your problems you feel at peace i'm getting that this person brings a lot of balance into your life here my pile number one for others of you i feel like um romance is not going to be about only this grand gesture here it's going to be found in this subtle tender moment of everyday life here i feel like uh, april just beacons you to find beauty in these instances to create a, a dance of love that just resonates with your heart dream here so i um, you should just let the waves of affection to flow and see where they take you on this journey of love here my pile number one as i was saying for my single story i moved on um i skipped <laughs> the message i wanted to give you is what i was getting maybe if you guys uh i don't know you've been in a period of depression you've been um not taking care of yourself too much here maybe you've been forgotten about uh, putting more love and effort into yourself here i feel like maybe you should buy yourself flowers in the month uh, of april here maybe take this uh, candlelight bath just pamper yourself maybe my pile number one with your favorite cream or lotion and while you're doing so maybe just try to um feel this energy feel the uh, happiness um, that you're feeling at that time just indulge into that energy as you're going to attract uh, romance into your life just imagine you're doing this for yourself and for someone else here and that's how you're going to attract a romantic partner into your love life here again april it's the month of uh, aries it speaks of that um new beginnings here it's that fiery energy that you guys are going to feel through the month of april i'm getting especially if you guys are an aries here um i feel like uh, for some of you i'm getting that uh, full energy that uh, new beginnings uh taking leaps of faith here in the month of april is what i'm getting so this will bring you new beginnings here so for my pile number one what else do they need to know regarding their love life in the month of april here reach out number three what else for my pile number three here too many cards yay too many cards sorry if it's meant to come out it will so for my pile number th number three number one why well, I, I saw number three and i got stuck on it sorry um you have opportunity beacons number four the infinite sign that's so nice and number 14 balance and this number 14 started to show up so many times now in the readings i feel like in the past two three readings keep coming up so you also have at the bottom of the deck here the number six believe and succeed but yeah with the cards we have here laid down on the table my pile number one i'm seeing that um the theme here is that maybe your relationship is not doing so well at the moment uh, for some of you i'm getting that um, there are certain things that you guys need to release um, maybe as i said earlier there is a spark that needs to be reignited into your uh, reading here from what i'm uh, getting from these cards um but yeah 
uh, let's get to the messages here for you with this reach out number three um i feel like uh, this um there is someone here that wants to reach out to you in the month of april here um they want to extend their hand and their heart towards you here with uh, the three of uh, fire here or ones um we have this woman that's being seated here surrounded and supported by the hands so i feel like there is a powerful message here about the importance of connection here so i'm getting that there is someone here that wants to uh, reach out as i said they want to connect with you my pal number one um they want to be that uh, support for you in the month of april they want to help you and bring the balance here uh, into this relationship in order for you guys to um have this uh, harmony into the relationship in order for this uh, relationship to be equal of giving and receiving is what i'm seeing in this reading for you um this uh, card just beacons of potential communication between you and someone here and this relationship building up on strong foundation is what i'm getting i feel like um, the uh, april's energies are just nudging you my pal number one to open the lines for communication um to maybe as well offer support um to your partner and maybe just be open to receive it uh, as well here I feel like it's going to be a time to bridge gap, uh, gaps and build these bonds, uh, whether with your partner, a potential love interest or within maybe your own heart as well. Um, I feel like the hands are uh, that surrounding this figure are a metaphor for the network of uh, relationships we all have available to us here. So I'm seeing that someone is going to reach out to you in the month of April. They will uh, call you out, maybe text you, uh, maybe they will come in person towards you. For others of you, could be via the internet, social media. Um, I feel like this person, maybe they have postponed for a while to send a message here uh, that's been lingering in their draft here. Um, but I feel like this person is just going to do it right now. I feel like this person wanted to reach out for a while towards you, but they've been... Um, I don't know, closed off, they were a bit afraid maybe to reach out in the past, but I feel like they want to balance the energy between you and this person, they want to move this connection, we believe, and succeed to the next level here, um, for some of you, maybe this is just a crash, maybe it's your ex that you guys uh, recently broken up with, uh, doesn't have to be recently if this is your partner if you're already in a relationship my partner number one uh, what I'm getting here though is that um, maybe this person in the month of April are going to reach out through these romantic gestures as I was saying um, I feel like someone here might feel bored with the relationship here with this opportunity because uh, maybe you guys been um, as I said there is not that I feel like there is no longer that spark from the beginning in the relationship you're having here with your partner so they want to reach out they want to balance the things here they want to change the dynamic as I said in the romance uh, card there is the they want to just spice up the connection between you and them is what i'm getting then they're trying to just build this connection with you they want to offer you the support they want to be more communicative with you they want to open the communication lines they just want to um have that balance in giving and receiving I feel like this person is here um, in the month of April. It's um, what's called uh, wants to be more vulnerable when it comes to this connection here.
I feel like this person is going to um, come in with some kind words, thoughtful gestures. Uh, they'll be more attentive uh, to listening to you here. I feel like the connections you guys are going to nurture uh, this April are going to be uh, leading to this profound growth in the heart's uh, journey here for you guys. Um, the reach out card, it's all about the teamwork here. So it needs to be a balance between giving and receiving. Um, also, it's about, as I was saying, uh, in the romance card, it's about the preparations here. I feel like uh, this person might be planning here, uh, making plans, preparing for uh, uh, inviting you out on these romantic dinners to surprise you here with something. Um, to buy you flowers, to buy you a present if it's upcoming uh, your birthday here. I feel like um, also this could be if you're single here, uh, this, the universe is just preparing you for this romantic encounter here as well. Uh, someone is about to reach out to you here. So I feel like in the month of April, this card magic is about to happen for you guys here, especially if you're just going through this energy I just spoke about. Also, uh, this is about alchemy. Just uh, you guys are going to create with someone here something that you guys both desired uh, in the relationship. Um, I feel like uh, your partner wants to be more united with you here into creating this relationship of your dreams together with them. Um, if this is, uh, if you're single, I feel like you'll meet someone that is so willing here with you to put out um, their energy into this relationship to create this uh, the relationship you dreamt of again i'm getting that uh, energy of the fool here um it's uh, as i was uh, saying at the beginning i feel like um your dreams are just uh in the month of april are coming to fruition now it's like they're being manifested for you my pile number one here with uh, this opportunity beacons here this is a sign of this potent um, a potent sign sorry that the universe is just aligning here to present you with new paths in your love life my pile number one uh, we have this figure here that's just standing before this open vista gazing up on the stars and the world of possibilities here that just lies beyond it I feel like this is a clear message of upcoming chances and choices that are going to lead you to this prof profound emotional fulfillment in the month of April. Um, so I'm getting with this card here. Also, this it's about that bored dom, as I was saying, disillusions. Um, you need to be vigilant and take action, or maybe someone here in the month of April, uh, it's just uh, starting to envision a relationship with you. They're being more vigilant when it comes to this relationship with you. They want to change something here. So opportunities are going to present themselves for you, my pile number one in the month of April here. Uh, I'm getting here that... Um, for those that are in a relationship if you've forgotten to see the magic in your interactions with your partner here uh, if that spark is gone here um, I feel like things are about to change with this card um, but I'm getting that the universe is beacon you to just invest time here as well um, it needs to come from the both partners here it needs to be a balance between you and this person both of you need to put the, in the effort here to change the dynamic here as well. Don't let your partner to do all the work and you just wait for things to magical happen. Maybe you need to be the one that's planning the dates. Maybe you need to be the one that just uh, is going to lavish the one you love with this personal attention and um, I forgot what was it, affection as well. Um, I feel like this speaks about putting in the effort here into the relationship in order to have this change in it. Um, 
for my singles here with this card i'm getting that you might maybe uh, been looking for a relationship here for uh, some time now without having any success you maybe um, became disillusional maybe you became uh, discouraged um, that you're no longer believing that uh, a relationship is going to manifest here or present for you here um, I feel like you're going through this energy that you're no longer providing the universe with the energy that's needed to just produce a relationship uh, in your dreams uh, of your dreams here or a relationship in general in your life here because you just start, stop believing here. I feel like your enthusiasm, enthusiasm just diminished here. So with this card, the universe wants you to know that opportunities are going to show up for you in the month of uh, April. You just need to change the way you're thinking to just shift your energy back towards the universe into manifesting this relationship into your life because you you choose the romance here so i'm getting that something someone is going to reach out a relationship a person is going to uh, be presented for you here you have this opportunity that are just knocking on a door and remember that opportunities don't begin twice um so just be prepared to take action here when you see the opportunity presenting itself at your doorstep. Um, so yeah, I feel like as you guys move through the April, just be lookout on a lookout for signs and synchronities that could lead to this new romantic. Uh, prospects here or deeper connections uh, with your current relationship i feel like uh, the nice guy here in the image just symbolizes the vast potential of the universe just reminding you that there are countless opportunities for love here and sometimes they can come when you least expect them here so just be open to change in the month of April here and just be ready to take, as I was saying, um, the step forward into the unknown here. It's about trusting the journey and being ready to take advantage of the moments that just are being presented to you. Whether it's a chance of meeting or just new depth of uh, this existing relationship or just of a realization of personal growth, I feel like the energies of April April, sorry, uh, are calling you to embrace what's coming uh, into your life here with these open arms. And remember that, as I said, the opportunities don't knock twice. So when uh, the moment feels right for you, my pile number one, just step forward and claim the love that's waiting for you here now um, with the balance card here I feel like this uh, conjured imagery here of this masculine and the feminine here just speaks of the need for unity equilibrium in relationships or even for some of you with uh, yourself here i feel like the radiant energy between uh, these two figures here indicates a, po a powerful alignment of energies pointing to a potential um, what's called synthesizes of different aspects of your life as well uh, this speaks of that um, the balance between the masculine and the feminine as well uh, you need to find that middle ground between giving and receiving as I was saying earlier about action and contemplation passion and tranquility here it's about that um, integrating the lessons of the past and present to forge this uh, future where love is giving the space to grow uh, in a very balanced and healthy way here I'm getting here with this card that uh, this may be a month where partnerships just require adjustments to achieve mutual satisfaction and where singles uh, may need to align your personal values with your um, romantic desires as well. Um, 
this speaks of uh, re uh, renew energy here as well so i'm getting that as i said the dynamic between you and your partner here is changing if you guys been single here as well i'm getting this renewed energy someone new coming into your life here but you need to believe and succeed into this underneath you have well this is a uh, reward here so if you put a lot of time and energy into um a relationship into giving into trying out to make the things work here to put in the effort uh, while you believe all of this and you're putting the effort here you'll have success here into whatever you're putting your mind into um this speaks of equality in the relationship here um speaks of harmony uh, for some of you this could be about healing maybe you're healing the relationship here with someone in the month of april um you're healing your heart as well um as someone new will come into your life they will help you heal here if you're a single uh as i said if you guys lost that spark you're feeling that there is no more fire in the connection here that, that energy is healing for you guys i need to oh my god I need to drink some water sorry okay i was losing my voice sorry for that i had to pause uh but yeah with this balance card here my pile number one i'm getting that you need to be willing um, to work through the issues here you have it within your relationship here with this honesty and uh, love here in order to have success here and just have this balance give and receive here the opportunities will present themselves for you here in the month of uh, April. Just uh, know when to take action uh, upon them here to see the opportunity presenting itself for you. Uh, for my singles, I feel like this balanced relationship with someone that waits for you here, it's uh, going to be very balanced when it comes to giving and receiving. Uh, I feel like both of you will put the effort into this connection. Both of you will um, maybe need to heal here and this is going to be a relationship that's going to help you heal. Uh, as I said, if you guys don't believe that um, the opportunities will present themselves here for you, well, the universe, uh, it's showing, it's going to show you that you're wrong in the month of April. Someone will come into your life here. Now, with believe and succeed here, uh, succeed here, I feel like um, this embodies the essence of hope and accomplishment here. We have this um, ship that uh, cutting through the waters here. Um, it speaks of uh, having confidence and faith that you're guided uh, by the stars uh, in the month of April or by the universe here to uh, reach your destination. Here is what I'm getting. I feel like this card is a clear sign that... Uh, uh, your positive beliefs and determination will pave the way uh, to success here, um, to have these su uh, successful outcomes into your love life here. Um, I feel like if you guys are in a relationship, just believe that the strength of your partnership uh, and working together will overcome any challenges that you guys are facing at the moment. If you're single, as I said, maintain faith that the universe is leading you towards the love you guys desire and deserve here. I feel like in the month of April, you're going through this journey that's depicted the... Um, in progress and for motion here and just remember pile one that your actions and your thoughts and beliefs have the power to just manifest your desires into your life just i don't know keep your head high and your heart open and um, believe in the love potential here because you just opened this door that will uh, bring a lot of opportunities and the, the love will just flourish into your life here. Let's see what else here you need to know regarding your April here. My pile number one. Anything else for my pile number one? What 
they need to know regarding their love life in the month of April here. All according to the plan. Oh, this is so nice. So, yeah, maybe you guys been going, as I said, through this um, challenging uh, times at the moment but uh, how this was just orchestrated for everything to just happen the way it happened into your life because the universe has this plan for you here uh, everything you've been through it was to go learn you um, learn you to <laughs> help you learn sorry and to help you grow here be it have this personal growth or to uh, for this connection to just come um, become stronger here to be built on this strong foundation to be something that will last for a long time here to bring healing into your life here so just trust that the universe is paving the way for you and everything is going according to the plan here in the month of april so whatever you guys put uh, your mind into uh, is going to go according to the universal plan here Let's see what else for my pile number uh, one. So you have number 12 here, a change in the wind. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So you might be age of 25 or dealing with someone that's age of 25, 28, 29, uh, 31 as well and 39. It doesn't have to be but that's what i was getting so you have change in the wind as i said i see all over this is just another confirmation here with this card that the dynamic here between you and your person here it's going to change um this person will just lavish you with more attention gifts romance uh you guys will spend more quality time together um, it will take you out on romantic dinners it will surprise you with this uh, candlelight uh, bats for some of you for others of you could be that they would just want to give you more um Time. like you guys will watch movies more together maybe you guys will start playing board games together or video games together they will include you more into their uh, activities I feel like in the month of uh, April they will just uh, uh, assign uh, more time into spending with you in the month of April here with you also it's what I'm getting that um, for my singles again don't give up your hope you you have another confirmation here that a change in the wind it's uh, um, about to happen for you here so definitely i see your uh, status changing in the month of april here just have faith don't give up on it what else for my pile number uh, one what else do they need to know regarding their love life in and young so number 22 for some of you this could be a uh, person age of 22 you could be also we have 34 for some of you but um you're just the balance card <laughs> as i was saying uh, here you are coming into um a connection with your soulmate here um, if you're single here with um, the feminine and the masculine energies are just coming together here this is someone that you guys are um, just um, balance each other out energy so well here I feel like it's that uh, someone you maybe even dreamt of or you're having often dreams about this person is what I'm getting. Uh, if you're in a relationship, again, uh, I see that balancing energy here. Uh, both of you are wanting to work on towards your issues, towards the challenges. You both are trying to bring that spark together in the month of April. I see this fire energy uh, that is lighting up uh, both of you. Uh, your emotions will make you feel like more attracted to each other here. I don't know, the, the dynamic is changing here for you guys for sure. 
you al also hear my pal number one with the yin and yang if you're in a relationship maybe you're already in a relationship with your soulmate here with the yin and yang energy anything else for my pal number one here oh <laughs> confirmation message i love it so there you go you have your soulmate as i said you um receive a lot of synchronity see here um that are letting you know that you're with the right person you're uh, having dreams of one another they're vivid they leave an imprint of you these uh, dreams here uh, either if you guys are single or not i feel like you're both dreaming about each other here um for singles as i said you're coming into union with your soulmate in the month of april again um, empathizes on this message don't give up your hope just change your energy just have faith because it's all going according to the plan here so yeah this is that deep connection here uh, you're with the right person here I feel like in the month of April, maybe this person here that you're dealing with, if you're in a romantic relationship, this person is being awakened to this connection. That's why the dynamic between you and them is going to change. They realize now or they are seeing you as being their soulmate here with the yin and yang and soulmate energy um, card here also they could be age of 33 or maybe you guys are doesn't have to be again and the last messages for you here my pile number one anything else here from my pile number one okay i'm gonna take this to that uh uh turned over so you have hold your vision fixed moon as i said i feel like this is for my singles here that are drawn to the pile number one um don't give up on uh, hope don't give up your hope don't lose your enthusiasm don't um be uh, discouraged here because you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and maybe you watched a lot of tarot reader uh, tarot readers that keep telling you that oh this month is coming or this month is going to happen um because i feel like it's going to happen here for you and also it hold your vision here uh if you guys envision that this relationship um uh, to be um like your dream uh, um connection here don't um, don't give up on your vision here keep working towards it because i feel like this is uh, can has a lot of potential with that reach out and support card uh through communication honest communication and um love here to become the connection of your dreams and uh, step out of your comfort zone i feel like this person as i said is going to step outside their comfort zone will be more communicative they will shower you maybe for some of you with gifts uh, buy you flowers and maybe they don't do that usually here i feel like they're trying to step outside of their comfort zone to just change the dynamic uh, between you and them so yeah this is what i had for you let's grab some initials for some of you here that need confirmation <laughs> uh let's see for pile number one okay so you have d i c maybe they work at dc here i don't know um you have a as well and u and v here they could be also from north america here i'm also getting canada it doesn't have to be with the uv maybe they um spend a lot of time in the sun here into the ultraviolet so um, and they're having this tanned skin for some of these what i'm getting um 
yeah this is what i had for you guys if this resonated with you let me know down below in the comments like the video it doesn't cost you anything and will help me a lot to grow this channel and reach these uh, messages to the person that are meant to hear and um consider subscribing if you haven't done already and thank you so much guys for staying until the end wish you to have an amazing day night depending on the times on you're watching this and uh, may your wishes in the month of april come true don't give up your hope bye They're my pile number two if you guys been drawn to this jade crystal or to this number 25 uh, sorry 23 i don't know why i saw it 25 um you have take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever so i feel like um in the month of april here you just have to let go of any fears you're having when it comes to relationships here and um uh, just be open here to this and thrilling uh, love that's coming your way here um i feel like uh, just you need to let go of hesitations in order to have a love with this full force of a supernova here whether you're guys exploring new depths with a partner you're maybe someone here is going to reveal um their true feelings towards you here or maybe you're the one that wants to reveal their feelings towards someone or you're just learning to love yourself in more profound ways uh, i feel like the universe is guiding you in the month of april towards this pivotal point in your love life here you just need to take a leap of faith for the love you find or to deepen the um, connections here it's going to be a treasure that uh, will forever uh, forever <laughs> forever changes your cosmos <laughs> i don't know what was that for forever for what oops i wanted to say towards you know same word <laughs> oh god uh but yeah i feel like with this card though actually um there are many rewards that will come to you when you guys are going to just um love openly here um i feel like you'll receive the care and affection and appreciation that uh, from someone here in the month of april that will help you to just maybe heal um from whatever fears you have been having here you just need to let go of fear and just give the love you are logging in order to receive it here i'm getting that you'll find a person that um will do the same for you here in the month of april my pile number two if you haven't already uh, found uh, that person if you're in a relationship here and you're at the beginning you're having fears here i'm getting you just need to let go of it and just surrender to the journey here that the relationship will bring to you you just need to allow the love and relationships to evolve into your life here uh, because life progresses and grows naturally so you need to be authentic um, self here and pay attention to what your heart is saying to you my pile number two in the month of april because there are these uh, wonderful opportunities that are coming your way with this card we have this young couple that rides over these turbulent waters in a boat with no oars. So I feel like uh, we also have this face in the distance here that just watches over them. Um, I feel like with this card and this imagery here on the card that there is not much you can control here when it comes to life and uh, love is especially uh, but you can just govern how you feel about it so it can be difficult to get in the next phase of a relationship while feeling the fear is blocking you is what i'm getting so um, if you guys are uh, needing guidance or support um, you are always have your angels to guide you here and will be at your side here and you can rely on them when you're looking for that extra support as well but i'm getting that uh, you'll find someone that you'll just um, willing here to take a chance or they're willing to take a chance on the relationship with you in the month of April with this card um, let's jump to the tarot and see what the cards have to say here for you 
So for my pile number two, what do they need to know regarding their love life in the month of April here? For pile number two, what do they need to know regarding their love life in the month of April? So you have rebuilt. I feel like you'll find someone here in my pile too that will help you rebuild your uh, broken heart is what I'm getting. Or maybe the moment you guys are giving your relationship a chance here and you're taking a chance on uh, love here you're going to be able to rebuild whatever you've been broken here whatever been shattered in the past anything else here for my part number two you also have sadness in isolation number three and confront you have number 18 and at the bottom of the deck you have here new vitality so a new beginning here in your uh, love life uh, is what i'm getting this um, beginning i feel like with the rebuild card is going to take you by surprise it will take you unexpectedly here um the moment you're not expecting it it's just gonna some someone something it's gonna change here either the dynamic between you and this person you're already with if you're single i feel like someone will just like come into your life when you least expect it here but yeah here with this uh, rebuild card um this offers this profound narrative for you guys of restoration of uh, a relationship that uh, maybe you guys took a break from or maybe the current relationship where you are already in and as i was saying for my singles this could be meaning a new beginnings for you guys here a new relationship or overall for everyone here it could be a new beginning in your love life um we have this figure here that uh, having her hands over her heart radiating this healing uh, healing and promises the reconstruction from within as well um this tells me that april is a time for healing wounds and rebuilding these stronger foundations when it comes to love here i feel like this is a testament to resilience in the matter of the heart it might indicate mending a relationship that has faced some sort of trials, challenges, or perhaps um, speaks to this inner renewed um, energy here, uh, prompting you to just rebuild your confidence and um, to be ready to love again, I'm getting here. The energy here emanating from this figure heart center just points to this profound inner work that lays the ground, the work for this uh, outward expressions of love and connections is what I'm getting. Uh, I feel like as you guys navigate the waters of affection and attachment this month, remember that every ending just carries the seed of new beginnings here, whether you're just repairing the bridges or rebuilding new ones. I feel like your emotional landscape is ripe for uh, transformation. So I'm getting that uh, this month you're just rebuilding yourself, rebuilding the um, the relationship here uh, with your partner. Also, uh, I feel like um, with this car here, um, I don't know, I'm getting that you guys could have been through this uh, relationship that uh, was a bit complicated for you guys. Um, and i'm getting with the rebuild card that uh, your partner here wants to just to work on this connection because they're feeling sad they're maybe isolating themselves they're maybe at the moment just confronting their inner shadow here and they're coming to you here with this um, new vitality with this uh, refound and um, uh, new energies what i'm getting here um this could be that fresh start in, as I said, new relationships uh, or the one that you are already in that's going to be based on this trust, uh, um, truthful honesty and love as well here. And um, I feel like if you guys are feeling unworthy of love for my singles, I feel like 
there are some people here that have been drawn to this pile that are not feeling that they are worthy of love in general so i'm getting with this rebuild card that you're just going to expose these vo false voices that you uh they've been telling you that you're not worthy and you're, you're just going to silence them in the month of april here because you've been through this um low vibration energy is what i'm getting here you've been going through periods of sadness so you just isolated yourself from the world from relationships in general uh you kind of gave up overall in love is what i'm getting here You've been going through sorrow. You've been very disappointed of your relationship or relationships in general here. And now you're just, um, I feel like taking this leap of faith here in the month of April. You're just uh, trusting the universe that you're going to receive here. You're asking for the universe to just bring you something new into your life. Something that will uh, just renew the way you're feeling right now. I feel like you're headed, uh, headed towards healing here. You're going through this in the month of April to this period of introspection and you're going through this emotional processing here. Um, I feel like it's in the month of April you're just ascending from your own depth of solitude and uh, melancholy. You're just embracing new energies into your life here. Uh, this tells me that in April you might find yourself facing this quieter, more somber aspect of your heart, yet uh, this is not without purpose here. I feel like such um, periods are essential, essential for this personal growth and uh, in order to have this emotional clarity as well. I don't know, maybe you've been feeling abandoned here. Uh, maybe you ended the relationship you've been with and you're going through this energy of feeling disappointed and sad here but you're emerging out of it in the month of april you're finding i feel like the courage uh, to just maybe you know, confront your inner shadows your fears here um but the message with this card here is like it's uh, to don't dwell in the sadness but use it to be your cataclysm for transformation here just reach out um to the solitude and find the strength and self-compassion here to realize uh, that you can't dwell in this energy. If you're just feeding this negative energy, uh, nothing is going to change into your life. It's, everything is going to be staying the same. You're just going to attract this uh, same kind of energies that will make you feel stuck in this energy. So I'm getting that you're learning how to emerge out of this and change your uh, energy altogether with the new vitality here as well. I feel like um, as love can bring joy and sorrow uh, into your life here, um, you'll find uh, joy and happiness in a relationship here with your partner you're just rebuilding here uh, the energy between you and them you're healing i feel like you both are confronting uh, whatever haven't been uh, going right in the connection whatever challenges you have to uh, confront here and you're um, moving on with this new energy here um i've feel for some of you you're feeling tempted to just isolate yourself from the world and just to cling on this uh, grief here but the universe is just uh, nudging you to trust that the change is on its way and at the moment you're letting go of the sorrow and disappointment um you're attracting this new energy into your life here i feel like you're going to move beyond the despair here and um, into uh, healing and joyful love here as well also i'm getting for my singles here that by acknowledging this energy and the state your uh, mind you're uh, going through and you're at the moment um 
you're just moving through these feelings here you're healing and you're preparing yourself for the love that you know it's about to come into your life as well i feel like the energy you invest in healing now it's just going to lay down the foundations for this future where love can thrive without the shadow of, uh, of past sorrows here just remember guys that the rain um uh, so it's this reaches the uh, ground here the moment I know it's feeling sad when it rains it's like um, the weather it can be cold but it's necessary in order to have this rich soil here so I feel like um, you're just uh, ready to nurture new growth here you're just acknowledging everything that's happening into your life in the month of april here and you're letting go and you're moving on here because uh, you have these powerful spiritual forces that are helping you um in ways that you can't even imagine in the month of april here is what i'm getting uh with the come from card here though we have this figure here showing of um uh, actually standing sorry in front of this archway that opens to a nice guy here um symbolizing the threshold between known realities and the vast possibilities that just lies beyond you're realizing that um the the moment you're confronting your fears the moment you're just healing and realizing what's keeping you in this low vibration energy you realize that there is a world of possibilities out there for you um you're realizing that everything you are feeling that you're not worthy that you'll never find a relationship that will bring you the peace the balance the healing that you need you're just changing your perspective and realizing that everything is possible that you are worthy maybe not for the people you met in the past they were just your cataclysm for transformation and becoming the person you've become today here is what i'm getting and you're not letting that anymore to just drag you down in the month of april here i feel like this is a compelling card to face the truth within your heart and um the reality of your relationships here as well i feel like april's guidance it's about bravery here and courage to address the unspoken the challenges the fears and to acknowledge your desires and needs in love as well I feel like confrontation here does not necessarily mean conflict, but rather to have this honest encounter with uh, what is true for you in love and relationships. Maybe you're just feeling stuck in a relationship where you're the one that always providing, you're the one that always reaching out, you're the one that always um, giving and you're never receiving uh, mm -hmm here you're just the one that it's clinging to a relationship maybe that's not in your best interest at the moment here and i feel like you need to address these issues here and that's what you're doing in the month of april and the moment you guys are doing so the moment you're realizing all and acknowledging all of these issues that are happening in, in your relationship you're going to be able to rebuild and just um um emerge from this isolation and sadness that you're feeling at the moment here i feel like in the month of april you have this pivotal moment when you're just looking inward um as well as outward and this is going to lead you to this significant breakthroughs and understandings in the month of april you're just facing the things you might have avoided and you're realizing that such courage can lead you to these deeper connections and personal liberation here i feel like in the month of april my pile number two you're just walking uh through the archway of this uh, self-reflection and honesty here where you're going to find uh on the other side uh, here it's going to be this clear path to love i'm getting grounded in authenticity and illuminated by the stars of your own truth here i feel like you're going through this moment where you're confronting and embracing the full spectrum of your heart's capacity here um you might even have questions here maybe you're just questioning as i said 
uh, um, am I worthy? Am I not worthy of having a relationship? You're questioning the relationship. Is this the one I'm supposed to be? Is this uh, someone that is here to learn me, um, uh, teach me, sorry, some lessons here? And I feel like you're going to find your answers in the month of April here. Uh, you're going to see to the three illusions here. You're having some sort of clarity in the month of April here. You're just uh, speaking to you um, and going, as I said, through your um, to this uh, inner shadow here, and you're um, healing. I feel like uh, you realize that um, what kept you maybe away from love, maybe you, it was your fears here that um, these illusions regarding your um, matters of the heart here that you had in the past, maybe you are not able, even if you're in a relationship because of the past fears, you are not able to just give a chance to this relationship. You kept someone at distance at bay from you here, my pile number two, and in the month of uh, um, April, you're just realizing all those uh, in shadows uh, that you need to work on. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're having the courage to explore your beliefs and misconceptions about love in the month of April here. And the moment you're doing that, and guess what? You have this new vitality coming into your way here. Um, so be prepared to uh, give and receive in the month of April with the card underneath it here. The moment you're changing your focus, I feel like, yeah, you're getting this new, uh, you're just uh, revel revitalizing sorry, yourself here. Uh, you're changing your focus. You're um, in the month of April. You're finally having that enthusiasm to move forward, to find joy again into life and relationships to your energy is just changing here i feel like you're being uplifted here you're finding a new source of joy of happiness uh, even as i said new love here that's coming into your life for some of you um you're just raising your vibration and um this will improve your either uh your uh, current relationship here and if you're single, the moment you're just changing the way you're thinking, the way you're, um, the moment you're healing, you're stepping out of this sadness in isolation, and the moment you're just letting go of that grief uh, and that uh, low vibration energy, I'm getting that you're um, um, going to find new love here. I'm also getting for those that are having a partner here with this card. You might even see your uh, partner here into a new light here. Um, I feel like the month of April is going to burst with this uh, radiant energy and color into your life here. Um, this card uh, just vibrates this light pouring through the uh, pan pipes here just signifies an infusion of this fresh dynamic energy into your love life here that's about to come in as it is the universe is just playing a symphony of this renewal and excitement just for you here i feel like uh, april just promises a report uh, in passion and uh, possibility here for you so for those in a relationship this might mean uh, rekindling the f uh, flame here with new adventures or even deeper emotional intimacy here and for singles tells me that this uh, invigorating uh, energy or time where new connections are not only possible but might be charged with this intensity that feels uh, both fated and exhilarating for you is going to happen in the month of April here. I feel like this card just heralds uh, this bright energetic period where your heart is going to open up and your spirit spirit is like aligned with the frequencies of love and joy here so you i feel like you're going to start to enjoy yourself again um you're going to have uh, hope and faith for uh, new romantic adventures here um i feel like um, you'll have new beginning here overall my pile number um two again uh, this energy from what i'm getting it's kind of similar to the 
pile number one here so if you've been drawn to that as well i guess you can check it out maybe there are some messages out there for you especially my singles um so yeah i feel like change is on uh, the horizon for you here <laughs> or uh, maybe i don't know in the month of uh April for someone out there, uh, you're going uh, through a break, uh, breakup here and uh, the moment you're realizing that was not the relationship you are meant to be in, uh, a new love is going to come your way here. That will help you rebuild yourself, um, get out from this isolation state and uh, will bring a lot of healing here. Them, but you just need to let uh, love here to get into your life and give it a chance is what I'm getting. Let's see what else for my pile number two here. Anything else for my pile number two? Oh, too many cards. Yeah, definitely you guys been through a complicated relationship here or someone. We have this surprise villain, maybe someone who you thought uh, you can trust and uh, it's uh, someone that you thought you were going to be with uh, for a long time that this is the person of your, um, um, like this is your soulmate here. Um, they were not who they presented themselves to be. Um, things were unjust between you and them. There's still some unfinished business here. And I don't know, they want to be your ally here. But um, I, I don't think you should trust this person. But that's specific for someone out there. Okay, so for my pile number two, what else do they need to know here? Friendly creature, I feel like <laughs> this is that uh, new uh, energy, new vitality, new person is coming into your life here with this friendly creature. Maybe this uh, new person that enters your life here, it's going to be someone that you guys will start as friends. And after that, the things will develop between you and them. They will be the one maybe you're just going to lean on when... Um, and that's uh, this person is going to help you rebuild yourself, get out of this sadness and isolation, uh, help you confront your inner uh, fears here as well. I feel like um, this could be someone that um, just can help you um, have your healing here in the month of April. This could, doesn't have to be a relationship, romantic relationship here. could be with someone that... Uh, you're meeting a new friend that will just uh, you can lean on and help you heal here and move past this uh, low frequent energy here uh, is what I'm getting that will bring this new energy into your life will just uh, bring a smile into your own onto your faces here what else for my pile number oops what else for my pile number two here anything else okay number one new beginnings young energy here um this is that uh, feminine energy here i feel like as i said you're healing you're balancing yourself in the month of april here Maybe if you guys been in a relationship here and uh, you've been going through these challenges here with your romantic partner is what I'm getting with this friendly creature and the young energy. This masculine energy is now ready to take action into the relationship to rebuild it. Um, they're coming with this uh, um, peaceful energy towards you here. They just want to... Um, um, was called bring this balance into moving forward uh, here with the intention uh, to build something more stable with you here um, this young energy just um, speaks of a time where um, your um, love life it's going to change a bit here uh, i feel like maybe 
uh, if you guys are single, as I said, this could be someone new that enters your life here as um, we'll start as a friend here, but uh, this person are going to uh, make this bold move and express how they feel toward you. For those that are um, already being in a relationship, I feel like this um, energy here, the masculine energy, wants to make commitment to you here. Or for some of you, maybe you're just um, embracing this masculine energy here and you're uh, finding the courage here to take, uh, to just take back your power here, to just step into your power. And uh, you're making that choice in the month of April here. It's the energy of young. It's about creating change for you here and not waiting for it to happen. You're the one that uh, may be putting action here into uh, moving forward with this healing energy here also it's about that uh, igniting the spark here of uh, this um, uh, connection you're having here um, be to this uh, um, your actions decisions you're making or maybe your partner is the one that is doing so as i said uh, they just want to take this connection to a next level for some of you uh, i feel like april is going to lead you um, in this um, romantic journey that um, it's all about change here it's all about uh, uh, um, healing evolving so um, i feel like um, you'll have that uh, love uh, that you guys desire and um, deserve also you had this uh, home at the bottom of the day here so again conf uh, it's a confirmation message for me that um, things are about to change for you and stability it's on its way when it comes to your love life in the month of april here Anything else for my pile number two here? Yeah, a broken heart. As I said, you're healing from it. You're just uh, stepping away from this uh, feeling sorrow, disappointed here. Um, as I said, if you uh, you might have someone here that's a friend and will help you. Uh, mend your heart here as well. For others of you. If you're in separation, I'm getting that your ex is coming back towards you. Uh, they're feeling uh, heartbroken here as well. And they just want to have this stability in your uh, love life here. Just be patient. And we have a woman holding a heart here. So I'm getting that you'll receive a love offer. You just uh, everything is going to happen in this divine timing. I guess there is still some healing needed to be done. Could happen at the end of the April, not at the beginning. Um, so yeah. I see a love offer coming your way here. <laughs> or a renewal of a love here for others of you. Mm, compa compatibility here so definitely there is someone here that uh, you are going to be very compatible with you guys will want uh, to have the same thing here you maybe you both of you needed to heal in order for this relationship to um, move forward towards uh, commitment here you also have forgiveness here so as i said some of you are just needing to let go of those voices that are telling you that are not you're not worthy and forgive yourself like i forgive myself for others of you um this could be that uh, your partner will um, if they broke your heart if you guys are in separation as i said they want to rebuild this they'll come towards you here with this uh, uh, apology and uh, they you'll require to give this uh, love another chance here to your uh, relationship another chance is what i'm getting and what else for my pile number two here okay this one wanted to come out 
work through your fears uh new moon in scorpio exactly what i was saying you're going to confront your fears here you're going to confront any any challenges uh between you and your person here you're both going to work through the fears maybe both of you uh, are having this fear of commitment fear of uh, giving uh, love a chance here uh, due to your past uh, relationships here and i feel like in the month of april regardless if you're a single or in a relationship you are just moving towards healing here you're just working through your fears you might be dealing with a scorpio here for some of you doesn't have to be and um let me get one more card for you i forgot for pile number one don't tell them <laughs> to use this deck okay anything else for my pile number two here anything else here okay only time will tell so i feel like this um if it's this uh, connection with a friend hip a friend because you have friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and uh, your love life will dramatically improve uh, if you guys having a crush or a friend is having a crush on you here uh, i feel like they are wondering and they're realizing that only time will tell if this connection can just uh, evolve to the next level here uh, only time will tell if you guys can be together in a more romantic uh, relationship and change the dynamic here let's see one more card here for you this one is calling to me oh wow <laughs> uh, okay soulmate interesting your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically here so for others of you uh if you're single i feel like as a, again if you're single you should watch pile number one definitely here um i feel like uh, you're manifesting your soulmate into your life in the month of april or some of you for sure here the moment you're just healing and going through this uh, uh transformation you're i feel like you're just uh, evolving as a person you learn some lessons here from the past uh okay this is what i had for you let's draw here some initials and see for my pile number two any initials okay so you have here a i a oh, l sorry what they could be from los angeles doesn't have to be also you have p here another i uh you have a clear one so this could be any letter s for some of you this could be your initial or their initial by the way um you also have d and um c here i'm also getting singapore here for some of you i don't know why but yeah this is what i had for you guys if this resonated with you and you want to let me know please uh, let a comment uh, in the comment section like the video if uh, you guys resonated with this uh, energy or this reading if this uh you feel like this was for you here uh just leave a like it doesn't cost you anything and will help this channel a lot and um, consider subscribing if you haven't done that already if you want to see more videos like this one check my other videos guys and i wish you to have an amazing tie or a tie <laughs> i feel like i'm getting a bit tired sorry uh, i was telling you that i wish you to have a good night or day depending on the times when you're watching this and uh I hope you have this amazing month of April here, guys, and I root for you and for uh, your transformation here. Take care. Bye. My pile number three, if you guys have been drawn to this citrine crystal here or to the number 29 here, the forgiveness card, 
uh, we have nothing is gained by holding on to the past disappointments here so this person that you're dealing with might be in age of 29 or maybe you guys are age of 29 doesn't have to be of course but this forgiveness card i feel like it speaks to the heart's profound capacity for healing and renewal here um I feel like in the month of April you're going to release this deep wound here that's been affecting your relationship here or your love life. Um, again, I'm getting that uh, if you guys been clinging to the past disappointments, only uh, this um, hindered your journey until now towards love and happiness. And I feel like in the month of uh, april you guys are releasing this you're just letting go and forgiving whoever needs to be forgiven here maybe your partner uh, will come here your ex will come here and ask for your forgiveness um we have these two faces that are just uh, uh, having their eyes closed. This could be speaking about the subconscious here is what I'm getting. Um, you are going through this um, deep thought here. Um, maybe there is some miscommunication between you and someone here. We also have this holding hands here. I feel like someone could ask your hand in the month of April for some of you. This could be that balance here that it's uh, going to bring in the month of April for some of you. There is still hope. I feel like um, there, there could be this uh, relationship here that you're tied to from the past. That is still a journey that needs... Um, some closure here maybe if you haven't spoken with anyone in a long time now there is someone that you need to forgive them even if you guys haven't spoke with this person here um we have this um ice that seems to be melting here so i feel like you guys are going through this deep emotional thought in the month of april here um i feel like uh, your april love prediction my pile three uh, you're going to this uh, period of time where you're just letting go of the buttons that weight and uh, weigh weigh down your heart here um you're going through this um cleansing of this emotional debris that might have blocked your uh, flow of love in your life until now uh, whether this could be forgiving yourself as i said someone else or even circumstances that were beyond anyone's control here there is this prof uh, profound power of a liberation in forgiveness here in the month of april here uh, so this month uh, my pile three just consider the act of forgiveness as this uh, act of self-love and as a necessary step in repairing the trust and rekindling love here just remember that forgiveness is not about forgetting or condoning what uh, has happened but rather choosing to rise above it here uh, it's about giving yourself the premises uh, permission to heal and to open your heart um to the potential of love boundless grace here i feel like as you guys will embrace this energy you just are going to set the stage for love to be restored and this trust to be rebuilt here stronger and wiser than even before is what i'm getting you might be dealing with someone in the month of april that could be a past uh, life relationship or maybe a next year um or you're just uh, need to forgive yourself if you guys uh, think that you've been too harsh on yourself here when it comes to love life. Uh, I don't know why, but the energies are like kind of similar on each pile. Uh, and I didn't even choose the cards. I just shuffled them and whatever messages came out, I just uh, decided to keep them. I didn't change any card. Uh, for any pile here so yeah let's see what the tarot has to say though for the month of april oh sorry for my uh pile number three what they need to know here you have number nine darkest fears and spread your wings with number two here <sighs> 
you guys are being so stressed out or someone here into your life here maybe your romantic partner is being super stressed out <laughs> regarding reaching out to you here or spreading their wings towards this relationship and love abounds wow new beginnings in love here for you my pile number three a new relationship or a renewal of a relationship here and you also have number four lead at the bottom of the deck here so yeah what i'm seeing here for you my pile number three there is some uh anxiety worries um maybe some doubt here in the month of april related to your uh, connection here um by the beginning of the month but at the uh, middle of the month here i feel like you're spreading your wings you're either finding or searching for a new love here you're taking lead into your life here and you might even find it at the end of the month here with this card with the love abound or uh, maybe here with this darker spheres though um i feel like this did confront you with the shadows of uncertainty of apprehension that just resides in each and one of us here um this uh, tells me that there are some um innermost anxieties that you're having related to your connection right now here if you're in a relationship here with someone um and I'm getting that they are being illuminated at the uh, beginning of the month here. Um, you might be losing sleep over someone here, my pile number three. Or maybe someone is losing sleep uh, because of you here. They are going through these anxieties and stress uh, for some reason. Maybe because they need to have your forgiveness here. They need to reach out, spread their wings and reach out towards you with this uh, newfounded love here. And maybe that's why they're feeling very stressed. Uh, and they realize that they need to take the lead here and to take action in this month here in order to... Uh, maybe um, change something in the dynamic of this relationship here is what I'm getting. But I feel like uh, for others of you, maybe the relationship you're currently finding yourself in um, did not go as planned here uh, for some of you. Or maybe if you're single, um, I'm getting that maybe a relationship you guys been um, hoping and desiring here did not materialize for you here and this is causing you right now a lot of stress anxiety worry um so i feel like you're just going to release all of these anxieties here uh you're finding this uh, enlightenment here um I'm also, this tells me that in April, um, you're going to this time where you're going to acknowledge and face the fears that uh, are holding you back in love here. I feel like your deepest insecurities are going to surface here, not to haunt you, but to, underst um, to make you understand and ultimately maybe even master them here. I feel like it's going to be a challenging month for you, the three um maybe your the relationships you've been through here um made you feel unworthiness maybe and you just need to change this mentality here you need to be um taking risks uh when it comes to heartbreaks here maybe this is what you're holding back from relationships you're not uh, if you're single you're not putting in the effort you're not making yourself available maybe uh, you're just um, not taking action towards um, finding love here is what I'm getting but I am I'm getting that uh, in the month of April here you're just uh, facing your darker fears um, with this uh, brave and courage energy here and this will um, 
this step that you're going to take now towards your love life uh, it's going to free you from the chains of past hurts here um, the moment you're confronting them you'll find that many fears lose their power in the light of day here I feel like you're going to release uh, and change uh, whatever been bothering you and it uh, was on your mind here. You're just releasing all of these thoughts here. Um, and uh, the moment you're doing so, I feel like you're going to move forward with a heart that's not only braver but also open to the depth of connections uh, that comes from this true emotional courage as well here so i feel like uh, april is uh, the month where you guys are turning your fears into stepping stones on the path of love here as i said for some of you this could be your partner here that is going through this energy here in order to come uh, with uh, courage here towards you this could be someone from your past here um For some of you, you might even question, as I said, your worthiness here with these uh, darkest fears here. Maybe you even became obsessed with all the fears that, that you're having regarding the, the matters of love here. So just try with these darkest fears to don't let your anxieties to just paralyze you in this total state of inaction here because you have at the end of month the lead card that's the action card here for you so if you guys been going uh, you're going through this uh, um, working on your shadows here i feel like uh, you're just stepping out uh, you're spreading your wings towards the universe towards uh, hope towards uh, more um, lifted energy here um, in order to have a new beginning when it comes to love here so this is a nice energy you're just evolving personally here uh, also if you guys been drawn to the pile number one check it out it's kind of similar the energy here so you might want to check it out um, but um, I feel like also here, someone here uh, is taking at the moment to determine what been troubling their heart here. Either uh, could be you, my pile tree, or your partner, or the person you're uh, just dealing with uh, here. Now, with uh, spread your wings here. As I was saying, someone here, it's ready now after they've been through this anxiety, it's been working towards their fears, um, towards their stress here. Um, I feel like they are ready to embrace this connection with you here. If you are ready in a uh, connection with someone or um, you're in a relationship with someone here, they're opened up uh, by the middle of April to your connection with them here. Um, it's a this embodiment of freedom and they want to explore this connection more with you here um, this signifies a period of this personal expansion for my singles the liberation that comes with this self-discovery and authenticity in love here I feel like in uh, April is going to be this month where you guys are embracing new experiences uh, and you're adventuring beyond the familiar boundaries in your love life um if you guys been feeling uh, confined or hesitant here i feel like um, this is a sign for you to just take this leap of faith here uh, and trust that you have the strength and support to soar here so for those in a relationship it might be the time to explore new venues of connection or to uh, encourage each other individual growth here i feel like uh, it's uh, for my singles here it's an invitation to venture out meet new people and entertain the possibilities that comes your way here um, so i'm also getting here uh, you'll have to make a decision in the month of April here. Someone feels like um, 
restless and about this connection maybe if you're in a connection with someone here you're feeling um that uh, uncertain um, uncertainty regarding this connection as well you're not sure uh if maybe if you guys been with someone for a long time here maybe it feels that this connection it's not um what's called it's not what you always hoped it's going to be you it's not that connection you've been dreaming about or even if it was you feel like uh you evolved you changed and you feel the need to find something new for some of you uh, i feel like maybe um if this connection is like uh, feeling restrictive uh, or is not exciting anymore or does not meet your needs anymore you feel the need for a change in, uh, in the relationship or for some of you you're just going to look for a new relationship here um uh for others of you i feel like uh um, something is going to change here if you guys communicating openly with each other here um you guys might um, rekindle the connection here but um, i feel like you're just um, having this moment of letting go your darkest fears here in when it comes to this connection here and you're going to fully start embracing if you had fears regarding this connection you're just letting go of those fears and you're starting to just um, embrace the connection, to find the joy in this connection again. Um, with this um, love abound here. This, um, it's, um, tells me that in April you're going through this emotional abundance and you're um, going to have this heartfelt connection here with your partner or maybe someone new for some of you uh, could be a new relationship here or the beginning of a relationship with someone uh, I feel like this uh, message here um, is overflowing with affection, the ever-present opportunity for love in all forms as well. Whether it's, as I said, finding new love, deepening existing relationships, or just rediscovering the love within yourself, within the connection. Uh, I feel like the energies of the month are rich with potential for you in uh, here, Pile 3. So... The universe wants you to embrace this period uh, as uh, where this love is going to um, surround you here is what I'm getting. You just oh, be uh, willing to open your heart and um, to give uh, and receive love freely. Also, this love abound again speaks of that uh, needing to forgive someone here. So this could be someone from your past, for some of you, your ex coming back here to ask for your forgiveness after they've been facing their darkest fears, spreading their wings and they're ready now to explore this connection. I feel like a new beginning is about to uh, happen into your life here, especially with the lead, they're taking the lead here in this connection. So... Um, I feel like as you just uh, being open to relationships here, you're uh, putting yourself out there. Um, as you you manifest uh, love in these unexpected places here, I'm getting for those that are singles um, and uh, for those that are uh, in a relationship, your uh, relationship I feel like is going to blossom in the warm light of your attention and care here. Um, also, this uh, speaks of trust, optimism, um, rekindle the connection here. So, this card also tells you that you have the potential to just achieve everything you want here when it comes to your love life. So, uh, you have this powerful energy of the love that's going to surround you in the month of April here. I feel like... Um, as I said, you need to forgive maybe uh, someone here or maybe to love yourself more here. Be more loving and forgiving with each uh, with you. 
uh, and I feel like you're going to release any negativity, uh, negative thoughts that uh, or beliefs that you have around love, as they don't uh, serve you here. And maybe for some of you, if you're single here, if you've been dwelling in this negative thoughts here, negative. Um, thinking with the darker spheres you need to release them because i feel like it's not serving you here they are uh, preventing you even from uh, love coming your into your life here um but yeah i feel like uh, the moment you guys are letting your light to shine your love to be shown uh, you'll just attract uh, your heart's desire in the month of april here with this card Definitely a new beginning in love here for my pile tree. Also with this lead card here, um, this speaks of guidance, uh, prioritizing, uh, structure, effort, um, action. So I'm getting that. Um, someone here will take the lead in the relationship, but uh, be careful here not to lead like uh, in put your uh, wishes upon uh, your partner here um or forcing your will on on uh, another here um i feel like uh, you need to if you're taking the lead uh, in your love life here you should do it uh, as a guide just um communicate with your partner here or i see you communicating with your partner here passing your wisdom onto them into having this um relationship to move from this uh stressful period of time to from making you both feel stress and anxiety here to just openly spreading your wings in this connection and just embrace this love that's surrounding it um I feel like you both are going to make yourselves sure that your both needs are met here as well. Um, this um, also symbolizes stability that coming into your life, life um, taking charge. So as I said, uh, someone from your past for uh, those that you guys are in separation, I feel like you're... Um, X is going to come back into your life. They're taking lead here and they want a new connection with you here. So I feel like April is going to present you with situations here where uh, taking the lead will going to be essential here. Um, this could be manifest or making the first move in a new relationship, setting these clear boundaries or even leading the way to this deeper commitment for some of you. So this card tells me that um, this month is going to be the time where you are stepping up with confidence and uh, you're just directing your love life towards your truest uh, desires here. Um, for my singles, again, with the lead here, I'm getting that you should uh, just, uh, if you've been seeking love, I hope you're not just... Uh, you're actively searching for it. You're not just uh, simply waiting for the love to show up at your uh, into your life or at your door because that's not gonna happen. You need to put yourself out there. You just need to, uh, as I said, make new friends, meet new people, network with others here. Put yourself either in dating sites. Um, you need to just leave these dark uh, fears away. Uh, release yourself from everything here that uh, been holding you back um, when it comes to love and just take the lead just you need to do some change here and I feel like that's what you're doing you're the, you're about to take the lead um, in order to find this uh, new love here into your life let's see what else here with the oracle cards they have to say so for my pile number three anything else here for my pile number three this one wanted to come out ruins oh wow uh yeah uh, i don't know what happened here but feels like a relationship has been um uh, 
you're going through challenges here again speaks of that separation for my pile number three so i'm getting that you guys been drawn to this uh, card or this crystal you've been going through a separation here you're feeling really let down you're feeling uh stressed anxiety um you're going through this uh, sorrow, disappointment here, maybe for some of you uh, feeling heartbroken but um, I'm getting that you're just trusting the universe that um, if you're forgiving each other here, you guys can have this new beginning, this new uh, renewed uh, um, connection here or for others of you, this tells me that um, that's like the tower card the moment um something it's going through through ruins is being demolished here um it was necessary in order to be built on a stronger foundation here to have stability in the connection here again it's, uh, with this card i'm getting that uh, state of uh, decay like the connection for some of you here it feels like it's no longer serving you here it's, you feel like it's not going anywhere like everything it's ruined no matter how much you guys are trying the connection is not um, advancing any further here for others of you again speaks of that uh, forgotten person you had some history with that you guys need to forgive here as well maybe for some of you with the ruin you just neglected this connection here and uh, you now are trying in the month of april to change uh, this to be more romantic to just um, engage in um, more um, uh, what's called uh, loving encounters with one another here uh, let's see anything else here for my pile number three between worlds here oh my god what am i doing here sorry for this uh, number three between worlds so I feel like you're going through this transition you're just as I said healing uh, realizing that uh, your fears can no longer keep you in this rain state of mind here uh, you need to just find your hope again you need to find your uh, strength to move forward here and I'm getting that that's what you're doing with between worlds here uh, maybe again the if you're in a relationship here i feel like um this connection uh it's somewhere like in the middle you guys are not f being or feeling um too excited anymore about the connection but i'm getting that uh, in the month of april this is going to change here and uh, you have number 18 here and serendipity here is what i'm getting that uh for my singles especially that uh you are um, your love life it's about to change here uh you will feel like your luck has struck you here you'll find the new love is what i'm getting um for those that are in a relationship with serendipity here i'm feeling that um something will just push both of you both partners here to change something because you realize that how lucky you guys are to have one another here something is changing here with you're going through some this transition here and will make you realize how lucky you guys have are to have one another here okay let's see what else For some of you guys could be 18 or 21 here, doesn't have to be. Anything else for my pile number 3 here regarding their love life. Man holding a coin. Oh, some of you, you could be age of 43 or the person you're dealing with here. But definitely I see here. <laughs> uh, 
a masculine energy approaching uh, you my pile number three with this offer here something that is going to materialize in this world uh it's something that will bring you guys prosperity happiness uh stability here definitely there is someone here especially for my singles that you'll uh, attract someone into your life someone has their eye on you here is what i'm getting and this person is like okay i need to just um find the courage to come towards uh, pile three and um, let them know how i truly feel about them here or make this offer and see if they want to go on a date here with me want to drink some coffee maybe i don't know you guys know better uh anything else for my pile number three here oh whoops regarding their love life anything else for pile number three regarding their love life in the month of april here sexuality here so i feel like your sexual life is going to change in the month of uh, april if you guys haven't had these sexual inter uh, con um, interactions with your partner i feel like you'll find uh, sexually attracted to each other in the month of april more than before like uh, your uh, partner is going to find you to be more sexual more attractive they will want to have you in bed more than usual here they want to spice up the things is what i'm getting you might be age of 31 or maybe your partner could be but your um yeah sexual life is changing i'm getting here uh for others of you for my singles again i feel like uh, this person finds you very attractive very beautiful and they cannot uh, wait to have you in bed here with this card is what i'm getting I feel like both of you will uh, be very attractive, attracted to each other here with the sexuality card. Like the attraction is there for sure. <laughs> you both find each other sexually attractive or no. Oh my God. Just a second. Okay. Sorry for that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. I always just hit the camera for some reason. This card just... Um, turned around when i was hitting the camera uh fiery climax approaches full moon in aries you might be an aries so uh happy birthday to you or maybe you're dealing with an aries uh doesn't have to be but with this card i'm getting that uh, as i was saying the energy the um, attraction um the build up it's going to be over the top in the month of april here the uh, intentions i feel like the intentions the emotions sorry i feel like they're going to intensify here between you and your partner or the new person that's going to enter your, your life here my pile three um yeah fiery climax approaches it's coming after right the sexuality cards so i see things being spiced up here uh, in your love life <laughs> Uh, the emotions are just going to be intensified here and um, you'll feel very drawn to your partner or someone here in the month of April for sure. Um, you cannot wait to touch each other. I feel like this person is not going to be able to take their hands off you. They will want to have you multiple times a night. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go there. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see the last card. I hope I won't hit the camera again. I'm really sorry for that. Let's see here for my pile number three. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Oh, this is so sweet. So I'm getting that your love life it's going to expand in the month of um, April here with this card. And uh, yeah, I feel like every uh, choice you're making here, especially uh, facing your fears in the month of April and forgiving, releasing whatever it's needed to release and just... Um, evolving here it's going to bring uh, 
this amazing partner here for you guys someone that uh, you'll feel safe to have in your life here you'll just feel surrounded by love and um You'll feel safe, I feel like, around this person here in the month of April. They'll feel you, uh, make you feel sorry at ease here. But yeah, this is what I had for you. Let's grab some initials for you here. My pile number three and some initials for, uh, for pile three here. Okay. So you have A, E... T, Z, N, another N, and another T here. So this could be your initials, your person initials. Of course, doesn't have to be, but those that need confirmation message. Um, so this is uh, what this was your reading. Sorry, your pile number three. Sorry again for knocking the camera. I hope I didn't scare you. If I did, I'm I'm really sorry. And um, yeah, just uh, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comments down below if you feel like it, or just uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, like the video. It will help me and this channel a lot. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, or subscribed already, just consider subscribing. I wish you all to have an amazing day or not, not night, sorry, <laughs> night, uh, depending on the times when you're watching this, guys. And I wish you to have um, a beautiful uh, April because it looks like it starts a bit... Uh, on a shaky ground but uh, by the end of the month i feel like everything is going to change for you here so yeah guys take care of each other